So, I'm finally making a raiding guild. It's something I've thought about doing for years, and now it's finally happening. And I'd like you guys to join me for this journey. It's not going to be an easy one, but hopefully it'll be worth it. And here's why I'm doing it. So the short answer is that I just can't possibly go on playing Shadowlands without having a purpose to log in. But it does go a bit deeper than that because there are far less time consuming ways to find a purpose in this game. Or perhaps the more obvious question is why don't I just quit? As I said before, this is something that's been on my mind for a while. And the reason I'm doing it now is because I think it's a golden opportunity for me to put a lot of this content that I've had in my head for a long, long time onto YouTube. So you could say that I'm doing it for you guys as well as for myself. So you may be wondering what's up with the title, Russ? Well, I'm basically saving Shadowlands for me. I miss having a reason to log into the game. When I finally do, I don't find the enjoyment that I used to. I either log out because I have nobody to play with, at least at the level I want to play at, or I do something that I don't find fulfillment in. I've tried pushing Mythic Plus, which is undoubtedly the easier to coordinate content because of the fact that it only requires five players as opposed to 20, that being Mythic Raiding. But that is an absolutely horrible and massively time consuming experience if you're pugging. If you've tried pugging M plus a decent amount, I'm sure you'll be nodding your head right now, as I think a lot of players grit their teeth through this because they have no other option. Finding a pre-made is much easier said than done, not to mention how much harder of an experience pugging is when you don't have access to the best gear in the game. Because let's be frank, most people posting their key in the group finder are judging you based on your item level and your mythic plus score. And when there's someone with a higher eye level showing up next to you in the group finder, who plays the exact same class as you and the exact same spec as you with a similar score as you, why wouldn't the leader take them? Because on paper, they're just a better version of you and a way less risky pick. Obviously, that isn't necessarily true, but how can the leader know, having met or played with neither of you? The gut instinct, most of the time, is to go with the higher number. So let me tell you a story about my mythic raiding experience. I've raided at all different kinds of levels, peaking at some top 100 rating in Legion. But since then, I've taken steps back to focus on streaming. But every now and then, I do step back up to try out some semi-hardcore raiding, most recently at the end of BFA. But when that guild went hardcore, and I didn't have time for that to keep up with that schedule, I started to look for a new home. Now, this brings me on to Shadowlands. I've been playing Shadowlands on and off for over a year now as a casual. I was raiding in Castle Nathria with a new guild I found to start Shadowlands with. I was really looking forward to this as they were already established and wanted to push for a top 300 world rank on only a two day raiding schedule. I think that they over promised a bit and it didn't really work out as planned. I was benched for being a rogue purely based on the fact that I played a rogue, despite outperforming other players in the guild, including officers. Now, obviously melee DPS spots are limited, but we were nowhere close to the world rank that we were even aiming for and meta comps were just not needed. So I quickly put together and found myself in a guild with the management prioritizing their friends over progress. Now I've always been a progress player. I play for the kill and when there's a conflict of interest there, that can usually cause some friction for me. I don't expect everyone to share my mindset, especially when we're not pushing for high, high end ranks, but I also don't like my time being wasted. I'm too old for that now. Now don't get me wrong, I don't mind being benched as long as there's a good reason for it. But I've far too often found myself in badly managed guilds, where either the officers don't have the game know-how to make the required decisions to deliver on the raiders' expectations, or they knowingly ignore that and do what's best for them personally. If I'm going to give up my weeknights and my personal time to raid with a guild, I expect to be treated with some respect and often I feel like management teams don't respect their raiders. And I think this is true for a lot of guilds. I'm sure alarm bells must be going off in some of your heads right now. And I don't want to make the story into one about me just being butthurt about guilds I've had issues with because it's not about that. Although it does stem from it. It's about a new opportunity and a new journey that I want you guys to share with me. Now, what I'm trying to do and what I've always been looking for in a guild is gather a collection of like-minded individuals who not only enjoy each other's company, but also work well as a team. With a strong management who respect everyone's interest and time, my goal is to create a cutting edge raiding guild who kill bosses in a decently good time relative to the patch cycle without arguments for the most part as adults on a fairly casual schedule. 
For me, quality is much more important than quantity when it comes to raids. So we'll be raiding on a two day schedule with no PTR testing or mandatory alts. We want to have fun while improving our rank each tier. Now I like to be realistic. So we're starting with an aim to hit somewhere between rank 500 and 800 in our first tier, which will be the sepulture of the first one's raid in patch 9.2 and we'll use the remainder of this tier, Sanctum of Domination, to sort through the inevitable teething issues that will occur in the roster. Hopefully we'll get some early insights into maybe who will be our star players, and also who we might need to get rid of. We have most of our roster, however we're still recruiting, and our players are from all different rating backgrounds. Some who are top 50 experienced, some top 100 experienced, some who are more or less new to rating, with only a bit of mythic rating experience, but still enough potential to show promise and everything in between. Most people are returning players, friends, friends of friends. So we're coming from behind and we've had to gear people up. We've done a few heroic clears together and the first three mythic bosses with official mythic raids starting next week. Side note, if you'd like to follow this journey live, then you can check out my Twitch channel where I'll be streaming all of our raids. The link will be in the description down below. Some of the content you can expect from this channel going forward, amongst other things, will be a documentation of this skill's journey, the birth and the setup, how we've made each stage work, the ups and the downs. I may share some of our kill videos or guild activities, point of views, explanations, and commentaries on different roles. On top of that, general resources that I think will be useful to anyone wanting to step up their PVE game in World of Warcraft, whether that be in Mythic Plus or Raiding, or both, some class specific and others not. In case you haven't noticed in the background, it's looking very mage. I'll be playing a mage in our raids and using it as my main going forward. However, I'll still be covering and making content around Rogue. I'm going to try and maintain four characters, bringing in Demon Hunter and Shaman to the mix as well. So I may do a few weekly vault opening videos featuring those characters. But comment down below if that's something you'd like to see. It'd be something like me going through my vaults on each character and explaining my thought process on why I pick each item. Maybe with a bit of simming here and there, you know how it is. With all that said, big, big things coming. I'm super excited for the future of this channel, and I hope that you guys will stick with me for this journey. For now though, have a great day. Let me know what you thought of this video, share it with your friends, and until next time, peace.